What's up guys, this is Sora with a new episode of Absolute Beginner Tutorials for Unreal Engine 4. So we start from the fundamentals and we work our way up to make a simple side scroll game together. And on the way, I'll hopefully teach you the tools to create your own games in the future. Welcome to part 4. If you have missed part 3, you can go back and watch it, where I talked about the basics of blueprint visual scripting. In this video we'll continue to look at the fundamentals of the visual scripting system in Unreal Engine 4 and we'll specifically focus on level blueprints. We'll do this by creating the exit mechanics for a game. So let's get into it. So our goal is for the player to open the exit for the level by touching a platform and we'll do this by triggering an event when the player touches the platform and then carrying out an action or executing an action when the event is triggered which is uh, destroying the static mesh that is blocking the exit here you can see what I just said visually so let's get into the engine But before we start scripting, I want to talk a little more about the basics of visual scripting in Unreal Engine 4. So I go to the blueprints above the viewport and I click on Open Level, open level Blueprint. This is a project that I've already done just to um, demonstrate the basics for you. So nods first let's start with nodes. Nodes are the basic building blocks used uh, when making blueprint graphs. Each node has a set of functionality or things that it can do and it has also some inputs and outputs. For example here on this node you can see that the pins to the left are the input pins and to the right are the output pins. In this case it's just one. So how to create the nodes? There are several ways. One way is just to right click anywhere on the graph and you will have this context menu pop up which shows you a list of all the graphs, all the nodes that you can add. For example, I add this node. You can delete them by selecting them and just pressing delete on the keyboard. Another way is just to draw, hold your left mouse button on a pin and then draw it out you will have a wire and release it somewhere on the graph you will have a list of all the relevant knots that can be connected to this knot by a wire so wiring of the knots uh, the input and output pins on the knots can be connected with execution and data wires execution pins are white arrows for example in this case this arrow as you can see here white this is an execution pin and then this one that is a circle it's a data pin um, data pins have different executions pin, pins are always white but data pins have different colors based on the type of data we will not get into the types right now but we'll look at this in the next in the future episodes so now that we have talked about the nodes and the wiring of them let's go to scripting our mechanic so open your project that we created in part uh, two together and click on blueprints and open level blueprint so the first step is to script an event which will trigger when we overlap or when we touch the platform there are different methods for doing this we will use an event called an overlap event which happens when two or more actors overlap the first actor will be our player in this interaction and the second actor will for the second actor will use something called a trigger box so go back to your viewport and there on the left you have something called mods there there is a search box 
in the search box just type in box and you will see something called a trigger box box trigger which we'll use for the overlap event drag that into the world on top of the platform that we created in part two you can use the same methods I showed you in part two to position it you can for example press F hold alt and then use the left um, right mouse button to zoom in, in and out and then um, position it where you want it to be so now that we have the box select it make sure that it's selected is very important and then go to the level blueprint again right click on the graph and you will have the list of the events and actions of the knots click on add event for trigger box and then collision and you have something called add on actor begin overlap and this is basically the event that will trigger when we start our player we start overlapping with our box so congratulations we created the event we scripted the event so the next part is to script our action which will destroy the block and open the exit so in order to do that um, first right click on the graph and write in the search box destroy destroy and under utilities you will see something called destroy actor so click on that so now we have the node that we need to execute the action but as you can see there is something called there is an input pin here which is uh, called target so basically this is the target that should be destroyed in order to get the target the target is obviously our static mesh that is blocking the way just go to your viewport again and just navigate to the static mesh select it and go back to the level blueprint right click on a graph and then you will see something called create a reference to level exit click on that and now we have a reference to that this is a very important method that you should keep in mind when working with level blueprints you can use this to get references to the actors in the world so connect this uh, to the destroy actor node connect the execution wire from um, the event overlap event to that and yep now we have a scripted the mechanic that we wanted uh, and finally you can see a compile button button up uh, over the graph um, click on that so the um, script will be compiled now you can go in a game and above the viewport you see something play if you push that you can see the game in action so we'll test out what we did just now let's see if it really works now we have touched the platform so the block should have been removed and as you can see it has happened so that's it for this episode guys thanks for watching in the next episode we will learn the basics of scripting in blueprint classes and we'll do this by creating um, our enemy and the mechanics that goes into that so thanks for watching the video like it if you liked it and subscribe for more videos you can also leave comments if you want me to do any specific things or if you have any questions Thank you very much. See you in the next episode.